you, YouTube. It's your boy TJ to get back with another video, but we got 20 things you didn't know about Mike Tyson, bro. Straight into it, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all want me to react to, bro. Let's get into it. Mike Tyson was bullied as a teenager. But did you know he almost fought Michael Jordan? That he's been arrested 38 times. 38? The 38, baby? Died. I feel a little guilty. Yeah, these are 20 things you didn't know about Mike Tyson. And so Mike Tyson said he's the reason he died. Floyd says he was First, right. did you know his Around iconic face tattoo was. was almost yeah. something even crazy. See, yeah, in 2003, Mike called up something. his favorite tattoo artist with plans of getting something wild. I just thought it was a cool tattoo. I was going to get a bunch of hearts and stuff. I was in the man of hunt, baby. He really Freaking wanted his face covered in hearts. My man would have been looking like a damn Valentine card. <laughs> but thankfully, my two artists though. refused to do it and sent him home. But at number 19, huh? he almost got sent to the hospital. Because you might not have known that Mike Tyson's workouts were so dangerous, they could have left him paralyzed. See, Mike Tyson's got a really thick neck. But he wasn't born with that girl. He earned it. Because this 220 pound psycho would roll around on his neck Ooh. to make it stronger. I mean, one bad move could have literally killed him. So while the exercise worked, it came ah. at a heavy cost for Mike. Did you ever have neck problems? Like, would you, you need surgery? Yeah, I had surgery in my neck. You know that, um, the why? You remember when I used to do those rolls on my head? Yes. The football yes. Ah. Ah. Yeah. But honestly, Mike has always lived that's life it. on the edge. Well, that like looked like he hurt, bro. And then it pushed my neck a little long, too. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it might just roll off the, you know what I'm saying? Like a lollipop, it might just a... Mike was arrested oh, 38 bro, like, times you know what I'm saying? as a child. See, growing up in Brownsville, a really rough area in New York, Mike Brooklyn. Tyson had bad influences all around him. One day he'd be watching gangsters run the block, and the next he was seeing people get mugged. So, at just 11 years old, I ain't like New York, bro. Stay away from New York, bro. Beating up other kids, selling that good good. I'm telling you, New York is not a real place, bro. So by the time he turned 12, he had already been arrested 38 times. Forget a report card, man. This could have got a criminal record. But look, a year later, Mike cleaned up his end, and thank God he did. Cause he ain't never get like real time. I know he was a kid, but like, bro, put him in the back of the. Bad at 38 Team, times? I bet you didn't know that Mike Tyson looked like this at just 13 years old. Yeah, this freak was 200 pounds of pure muscle in middle school. He's like a full grown man. Bit. I don't care what you say. Boy, he was acting like a child in number 16. Because I bet you didn't know that Mike was once knocked out by a hoverboard. I heard of it. Yeah, I seen this. I remember this. I mean, he wasn't knocked out, but. It's, it's still was funny. That bit bounce. Of all the things that could hurt Mike Tyson, it's a damn hoverboard. Hey. But number 15 hurt his I never had a hoverboard. Because I bet you didn't know that Mike Tyson has an obsession with pigeons. I was Don't you have a whole million. bunch of pigeons? And it all started as a kid. See, well, Mike got bullied it's at school all the time. People were right? calling him fat, making fun of his lisp. So, understandably, he didn't want to be around anyone. Instead, he decided to become friends with the neighborhood pigeons. Seriously, he started talking hero. to him, telling him his problems, and before he knew it, he was taking the pigeons home as pets. In fact, his very first fight ever was with a bully that killed one of his pigeons. And if that's how much he loved him as a kid, he killed a imagine pigeon? how far he's taken it as an adult. Because over the years, Mike has owned thousands of pigeons. He's learned to identify each breed, built an entire room in his mansion for him. But the craziest part is, Mike's pigeons cost him $5 million per year per just to year? take care of. Yeah, it turns out that feeding over a thousand pigeons cost four hundred thousand a month. But he's not just taking care of animals. Cause in number fourteen, Mike once saved a complete stranger. Mike life. got kids. See, in 2014, Mike was in Las Vegas, just driving down the freeway, when all of a sudden he witnessed something terrifying. A motorcyclist was cut off by a taxi and sent flying off his bike. So Mike instantly jumped out of his car and ran over to the victim, yelling at everyone to <coughs> not touch the guy. And doctors claim that he only survived because Mike was the first one on the scene and stopped anyone from touching the victim. He's why My not hero. touch him? In all honesty, I, I, I words can't. I think his lips still messed up. Appreciation I have for him because I'm sitting there. I'm at the mercy of the world, and I got Mike Tyson sitting there making sure that the world didn't come and kick me while I'm down. Damn, I oh mean Mike's a hero. And look, heroes get thirsty too. Cause at number 13, I bet you didn't know that Mike Tyson has his own line of CBD drinks. CBD. And it's got the most genius name. Mike. After work, you need to refresh. 
relax with some friends. Mo cup, mo models. Quagmire I don't know, I'm trying to like combine my Tyson and water. Charter. What you drink? Well, I tried coconut water for the first Trust. time. Never again, bro. Y'all that drink coconut water and like cucumbers and all, y'all like, weird, bro. Drink okay. more. Just drink regular water, bro. Drink. And fruits. Well, damn. I need I'm me trying a to combine right cocoa that looks and, delicious, and water, bro. But number 12 is just vicious. Because one mistake not only cost Tyson hundreds of thousands, but it almost killed someone. See, in 1992, up, Mike Nick? was in prison. He met an inmate who just so happened to know a guy who knew a Chilling guy who vibe. sold exotic animals. And, uh, with Mike having a Didn't couple he have a tiger in his backyard? One thing led to another, and what do you know? He spent $70,000 from prison buying two Bengal tigers. And while he Chip. thought this was the best purchase ever, Mike was dead wrong. I feel like a baby Probably tiger cool, like out, a... She came out of her house. Like a large she tiger is crazy. Cute, said, oh, he's so and she ripped this all her hand off. I heard, yeah, I seen I She ain't never got mad at me, never got mad at anybody in her life. And this lady just got over there and got a hand. What Took happened? the whole hand off? She sued me and stuff. And she lost. She didn't sue me. I yeah. gave her 200000 anyway because she was fucked up. So I figured, you How you going to try to sue somebody hey, for going in AR for and get attacked by that? He's not afraid of anything. Pet. I mean, uh, number tiger 11. Isn't he really didn't a pet. know that. He's not even afraid of Hasbulla. People crazy, bro. <laughs> what if he accidentally just said, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? Just accidentally, like on some reflex. Ah, ah, boom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, I feel bad. Little guy was getting all gobbled up. That's got to be a crime. But anyways, it's top ten time, so you're not gonna know a thing about Mike. Mike and Tyson. But you didn't know bro. that Mike Tyson got Tupac killed. See, Mike Tyson and Tupac were good friends. I mean, Mike listened to his music. Didn't somebody else say they was supposed to be with Mike, uh, with Mike Tupac when he was in prison? Day. But unfortunately, I heard, I on September 7th, 1996, that friendship ended. Cause Dang, Mike I forgot was fighting who said Bruce that. in the Las Vegas. I think he Shaq? Have a good time after, Maybe. So he called Pac pressuring him to come out and party at Club 662. And as Tupac was on the way to the club, he was shot. And when Mike found out, he felt like it was all his fault. How did Tupac die? You heard the bad news about Tupac. I felt a little guilty about him coming to the fight, me pressuring him, but hey, like, bring the tape, don't forget the tape, you know? Man, I feel bad for him, but he was asking for it in number nine, because you probably didn't know that Mike Tyson once tried to beat a gorilla in a I fist fight it, in the 80s. Mike Tyson offered to pay crazy. a zoo in New York $10,000 just to fight one of their gorillas. And uh, Mike Tyson these things can weigh up to 500 ass, pounds. They're as tall as a full grown man. And their bite packs over 1,300 pounds Imagine if a gorilla was actually in the weight of a line. How, how much you think zoo said a gorilla nothing. is bench pressing and, and, uh, and no, squatting? So I guess we'll never know if he can beat up a gorilla. I'm talking about it's starting off with 225. I ain't Mike almost got <gasps> something even scary. And they got little arms eight, too, so it's gonna be. He <gasps> definitely didn't know that Mike Tyson almost beat the sh out of Michael Jordan. In 1998, Mike Tyson was at a restaurant in Chicago celebrating a friend's birthday when all of a sudden he looked across the room and sees the one dude that could ruin his night. The man who used to date his ex wife. Michael Jordan. And Tyson thought Jordan hey. might have been trying his luck at her again. So he got up, walked over to Jordan, man, and popped Mike off, Tyson saying, really Hey man, you think Michael I'm stupid? Jordan. I know you fuck with my bitch. I'ma bust this dude's ass. Yeah, he tried to make the goat look well, like a sheep. But bricks, thankfully, boy. Tyson's team defused the situation before he could punch MJ. So in the end, no one got hurt. But I can't say the same for number seven. Imagine if it really got down in that restaurant. Mike once tried to bribe the police, and it went horribly wrong. One night, Mike was out cruising the streets <clears> of New York with his wife, Robin, and the two were just enjoying themselves. Mike and Robin, Robin sitting Robin in a tree. Robin reached into Mike's pocket and found a handful of used condoms. Yeah, Mike was caught cheating, making Robin go crazy. I thought Robin so got caught cheating. he took the to Mike's $230,000 Rolls Royce and crashed it into another car, breaking an innocent man's arm in the process. Oh, fun, believe it or not, shit. it gets way worse than that. Because at the time, Mike didn't even have a driver's license. And with the cops on the way. Wait. 
They said Mike crashed it. Why he the one cheating? And Robin go crazy. So she took the kid to where Robin did that. Because at the time, Mike didn't even have a driver's license. And with the cops on the way, he was afraid of going to jail. So with only a few minutes to think, he started scheming and came up with a devious plan. And so the cops came and the cops were saying, hey, what happened here? Right? And um, I was afraid that they were going to arrest me or arrest us. So I said, well, nothing happened, officer. Um, I said, you know, sir, why don't you just take the car? You know, you deserve it because you've been do doing a lot. Because I didn't want to get arrested. I didn't have a license or anything. Right. And I didn't want my wife to get in trouble. So why don't you just take it? It'd be okay. He said, hey, man, take it, man. Do this, man. You deserve this. Take it. And they took wow. it. But they made what? him give away the car, right? They made him. Well, he could have went back to my office and I said, Get my fucking car back. Went to the really? Yeah. He got fired. <laughs> he did? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I ain't like that. That's fucked up, bro. Did he just laughing about it, bro? That, that, that's fucked up, bro. He, he did you a solid, bro. And you just. It, is Mike Tyson a snitch? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he probably hearing his name. I'm going to get that bastard oh, type. No. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that cop should have called no trade backs. What the hell was he thinking? Well, anyways, we got to talk about number six. Because I don't think you knew that Mike had his wife stolen by a celebrity. See, in 1988, Mike was dating That's Hollywood actress shit. Robin Givens, and he was in love. Because after just a year of dating, the two tied the knot and were on cloud nine. That is, until one day, Mike's demons started to take over and ended up driving Robin away. So, just a year into their marriage, she was Robin scared, filed for boy. divorce. And as Mike was about to hand over the divorce papers to his lawyer, he decided to go visit Robin. Getting married one is crazy, time, but I don't but think I can when do he got that. to her house, he married was starstruck. Because he saw that his wife had already found a new man. Kids is one thing, but getting married. No one's there. I go That's legal, bro. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, kids is too working. And as I go to my car, she drives up. All oh, right, it's going to happen. It's going down. She drives up with the handsome Brad Pitt. I said, oh, man, I ain't going to get no <laughs> I don't think I ever seen what Brad Pitt look like, bro. Now, we're inside the top five, so we're going deep in our bed. Man, That's you Brad definitely Pitt. didn't know about the time Mike Tyson stopped a tragedy by stepping in oh front of a gosh. loaded gun. See, one night, That's why they Mike was out at the club, turning up with a bunch of his celebrity friends, just having a great night, until some sketchy dude walked up and started messing like with some Renato, of Mike's friends. Perfect this face actress ass. Rosie Perez and her sister Sally. So this guy is creeping on her, begging Sally to dance and not taking no for an answer. And after multiple rejections, the dude pulls out a gun. So Sally and Rosie figured there's no better man to call than the goat himself and that's when mike went savage mode because she wouldn't dance with him and you went let me go talk to him like this is guns down like fist up finger, like if you have a gun right you went you, the mic went Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Holy that shit. was it. And then, I don't think I, I could ever pull off an arm like that. I used to be crazy when I was younger. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, oh, this man's built bro. different. He saved a woman and an entire just club black from gunshots. Everything, bro. Like, you ain't got to worry thing about like stuff spilling on you. Because the number four. No more was shit. How did Mike nah, Tyson make over hurt. 600 million and manage to spend it all? Well, when Mike was at the top of his game, he was the richest athlete on the planet and thought money was never out. Just so wild every day out was like a shopping this, spree. Airplanes, boats, exotic cars, animals, parties. Mike even bought a 50,000 square I'm saying square as a person that's not in a position, two but like, rooms, come two on, pools, bro. And its own nightclub. But as time went on, Mike's 60 million, bro, you could put it. Down. So by the time I say 10 million, no, but really you could put like 20 million up. But it was used to his lifestyle. I mean, not only did even five million, bro, you gotta put something up. Sixty million back at a hotel. Sixty he million is crazy. Four hundred thousand in monthly expenses. He didn't pay his taxes and found himself in debt, needing to pay over sixty million. You can't even imagine having you sixty went, million you dollars. You went up sixty alone. to oh, down man, sixty. I don't bro. know if anyone could come back from that. I saw one twenty. Mike, he's better difference, off without bro. money. You had millions. I have peace though. Over the thirty million dollars for one fight, Jay Z's lying. Hey, listen, can I tell you something? That don't mean nothing when you don't have your peace, your stability, and your balance. She. You for the only one you want to give it to somebody else. You need your sanity to, to dictate any part of life. Man, I'm just happy you made it out. But look, Mike's made it out of every situation. Cause in number three, you definitely don't know about the baddest man Mike has ever fought. 
This is Mitch Blood Green, pro boxer by day and by night, one of the most notorious gang leaders in all of New York. Mike Tyson the lost black a, yeah, he got DQ for one fight, See, Mitch but like, did he lose another fight? Street, but his real goal was to become the go to boxing, and he figured what better way to do that than to go after the top dog, <laughs> Tyson. So nice. in 1986, he officially challenged the champ in the most insane way, going on TV just to taunt Mike. I want Mike Tyson, point blank. Michelle Tyson, he's a homo, I'm gonna knock him out. Whoa, yeah, whoa, we do not condone that. And eventually, Mike got enough of all the time. Right, so later that year, he really finally weird. agreed to fight Mitch one on one. And uh, Mitch might have thought he was that dude, but what's a gangbanger to a demon like Tyson? So when the bell rang, it was lights out. <laughs> Mike beat the guy by unanimous decision, yeah. humiliating him so badly that he retired from the sport of boxing immediately after. And there's not one fighter that could scare Mike. Well, except for number two. Because I bet you didn't know about the fight that made Mike Tyson retire for- Mom, I leave lost some fights too, huh? 11, 2005. Mike was fighting Irish boxing I'm gonna call star, this shit up Kevin after McBride. I gotta do my little this history. Wasn't some ordinary Kevin? Fight. Mike Bob. needed this fight because he was 38 years old, falling out of the boxing spotlight, and more than anything else, desperately needed the money to get himself out of debt. So that is he crazy. Him desperately needing money, bro. The young Mike he used to be. He laced up his gloves anyways and got ready to give it everything he had against McBride. Miraculously, through five rounds, Mike was actually winning the fight. But after the sixth round, McBride got momentum back, nailing Mike with some hard shots and having the box set him back to his corner dazed. So, going into the seventh round, Mike, who was not only gassed, but had a realization that he was fighting for all the wrong reasons, shocked the entire boxing world. And in the middle of the match, Called it quits. Nah. You. Did you want to continue? Well, I would like to continue. That's how Mike went out. Realize. I know I'm like late, bro. This happened before I was alive, but like, damn. I don't think I have it anymore because I'm. I got the, the ability to stay in shape, but I don't got the fighting guts. I don't think anymore. And what like, to just imagine how you look now. Like he still be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In what part of the fight? I don't know. Early into the fight. I know I'm niggas that paid money. Yes. Imagine betting. Eat it. Did you feel as though you had it coming into the fight? Um, no, I'm, I'm just fighting to take care of my um, my bills, basically. I don't have the stomach for this kind of no more. I got. I'm more. I'm more. I'm conscious of my children and those guys. Oh, you do got parents, children. I'm just. I don't have. I don't have that ferocity. I'm not an animal anymore. Does that mean we won't see you fight again? Yeah, that's most likely. I'm not gonna fight again. I'm not gonna dis I'm not gonna disrespect the sport anymore by I respect it. Of fighters. Mike, a lot of people wonder what what you'll do now with your life. Boxing has been your whole life. Well, I'm sure I'll find something to do. Boxing doesn't define me. I'm just sorry to disappoint the people in this city. I know I, I didn't have it in my stomach no more, but I was in dire need to take care of my life. I you know, I'm just being honest, I'm not taking nothing away from Kevin. I don't love this no more. I'm just in here, um, I, I just, I don't love this no more. I even love fighting since 1919, 1990, but Kevin, congratulations on your career and good luck. Man, you gotta respect Mike for that. That's a legend right there. He knew when his time boxing was done. After all, he went far from where he came from, because I don't think you knew that getting arrested as a child. He didn't start from the bottom, went to the top, went back to the bottom, went back to the top. You know what I'm saying? Four years old. All that bullying and bro motivation to me because it created a monster. Tyson was fighting everyone and anyone, sometimes getting into four fights a day. So, after getting into a bunch of trouble and getting arrested 38 times, he found his way to the Tryon School for Boys, a juvenile detention center where fighting was all around Mike. I mean, he met Muhammad Ali in juvie. He got into more fist fights with other troubled kids, and he even got his first pair of boxing gloves there and fought Bobby Stewart, the detention center's counselor former pro fighter but after mike broke bobby's nose bobby saw that mike had extreme power <laughs> and with some direction and coaching had the chance to be an amazing boxer so bobby introduced mike to legendary boxing trainer cuz damato who helped tyson become DeMato. a legend changed his life forever he took me to cuss and cuss met me at 13 years old and soon as he met me and saw me boxing he started it's crazy he started um he started planning my whole career and my whole life out I was gonna win the nationals, we're gonna win the local tournament here, we're gonna win this tournament here, we're gonna win this one, you're gonna win the Olympic trial, then we're gonna get you the heavyweight, you're gonna get a million dollars in your first fight as a pro, then we're gonna get you into the heavyweight 
champions. We will build you, we will we'll fight you constantly, and we will make you the youngest heavyweight champ in the world. And um, for some weird reason, um, I was like, I didn't want to appear that I was afraid. And he said, are you ready for the other hand? I said, yes, I am. But I had no idea what he had in store. I had no idea. I um, didn't know. I was so ignorant and yes, I used to ignore little kid that thought I knew it all. I didn't well, imagine like knowing the knowledge, knowledge you know now, like back in that back then. I was only 13. But this guy was 70, so I wanted to think I was tough. That's what it is, huh. bro. Thank God for cuss, because he gave us the Mike Tyson. We all know and love today. But as crazy as Mike Tyson's life is, he's also been a part of the craziest moments in sports history. Like when he bit a man's ear off and then gave it back to him. What the f there's a I lot of sports moments that'll have you saying that. Come up. Subscribe to the channel, bro.